Uh, obviously, Mike was just in there, and he said that he was glad he didn't hurt you with the headbutts. Can you <laughs> go through that moment with us? Um, yeah, it was awesome. It was just a big play by the entire offense. Um, we call it run play on third and long, and uh, that's every old lineman's dream is to seal a game in two minutes on a run play, and that's what happened. And I know Mike has uh, – Mike always expresses his feelings, and he's a guy that we always feed off his energy. And he, uh, I think I was the first one he saw. I said something to him first to get him a little jacked up, but um, I really didn't expect him to take it to that level. But that's why we love Mike, because he's always bringing that energy every single day. Burris, uh, you came in uh, like about a week later or so into camp and, and obviously started in week one. How, how have you been able to uh, maybe catch up as quickly as you have and, and add the comfort level you need to be able to start now? Um, the coaches, uh, JB, Coach Furster, and uh, Zach Gans, they're all the coaches in the O-line room. Uh, from day one since I got here, really did a great job of getting me, you know, caught up to speed with the whole offense, the whole, all the terminology because, you know, Kyle's offense, there's a lot of words in there and there's a lot for – uh, a lot of communication up front, and they've done a great job of getting me up to speed. Uh, the guys I play next to make it super easy, and, you know, Jimmy as well, uh, he really makes the communication a lot easier for me. Is, is this offense similar to any that you've been in in the past in terms of, you know, how much movement is required in the center? We see Ben making uh, blocks 10, 15, 20 yards downfield, and does that – sort of suit your your skills as well just getting out in space and getting downfield yeah from starting from college that's what we did a lot in college and i'm very comfortable doing that um and then running a similar system uh my last year in chicago and then uh last year a little bit when i was in tennessee it was a similar system uh terminology wise uh but out in open field is something that i really feel strong about in my game and something i've been doing since i was in college so i really feel comfortable doing that Hey, Ernest, uh, how did you uh, spend the offseason? I assume you would have been signed, you know, earlier in a normal offseason, but how did you spend it? And, um, you know, given the fact that you had to wait and wait, you know, was there a level of frustration involved? Um, yeah, I mean, I had to wait, but I had a lot. I had a few teams call to want to sign me and give me an opportunity to go there and compete. Um, I was just waiting for I just had – it was weird. I had a, a gut feeling to just wait it out and stay patient. Um, I've wanted to come here for a long time just off of Kyle's offense because uh, when I was in Chicago, we were trying to do similar things to what Kyle did, and I really enjoyed playing that offense, and I liked it a lot, and I really wanted to come here and, and have it, uh, get a chance to compete and make the team. And um, I was just waiting and waiting and, you know, started praying, and things came up and, you know, was able to get signed here and uh, get rolling. So, um, yeah, I just kept training every single day and working my butt off to just stay ready and shape. Hey, uh, uh, Kyle mentioned that Chris Forster might have had something to do with that, that you guys overlapped in, in Miami. But was that part of the process of getting noticed by the 49ers? And two, a, you know, extension question off of that, uh, the offensive line coach, you have two head offensive line coaches. How important do you think that is uh, behind this line, you know, really finding its groove despite some struggles last week? Um, I think Kyle was confused. I was in Miami for a cup of coffee for about two to three weeks, but uh, – it was Jeremiah Washburn, and Jeremiah Washburn was his assistant in Miami. And then the fall, the next year, he came to Chicago, and I had Jeremiah Washburn for one full year, and we did all of Coach Furster's uh, terminology, all his technique and everything. So um, that's why he got, probably got mixed up a little bit. But uh, having those two coaches in there have been the biggest blessing for me in my career, uh, getting me ready for this opportunity. And um, they, they've both done a great job of getting me ready. Hey, Faithful, click here to subscribe.